bonito. Ahora te, ya, ya escribiste tu nombre. ¡Wow! ¡Excelente trabajo! Muy bien. Y ahora ya estás lista para irte. Ya terminaste aquí. Sí, ahora qué tienes que hacer. I told my mom one day leaving kindergarten I had a wonderful bilingual teacher by the name of Mrs. Sanders who just made me love kindergarten so much. Um, and from then on, my mom was always like, oh, remember, you're going to be a teacher. Please share with us your heritage, your family's story. They saw America as being the land of the free. They could come, have better opportunities, um, try to make a family and, you know, hope that it works out. Um, I am astonished at my parents and what they were able to do, taking care of three children. Um, you know, at one point we lived at a two bedroom apartment, seven people, because um, we would take in family members that would come from Mexico. And that family support of, I never had to go to a daycare. Um, I never had to be home alone. Um, there was always a family member there to help me or babysit me. When we moved to Cicero, that was different. That was the first time my parents had a home. So to them, that was a big deal. And that was a big deal to everyone in our family because it wasn't very common um, for family members to own something that they can call their own. My dad is the patriarch of his siblings, so they come to him a lot for support and help. Um, and I was that child that would be translating documents at seven years old um, and, you know, getting told like, well, you're going to school. How do you not know this? But I'm like, this is a legal document. I don't know how to translate this. Um, so having those conversations with them and, and for them to see me now um, and all the hard work that, you know, they've done, they've worked warehouse jobs all their time. So to see their daughter in a position to be assistant principal, it's not just my accomplishment, it's theirs as well. Why did you make the switch from being a classroom teacher in early childhood to being assistant principal? Ultimately, I had to really think about what I want to do. Um, what more can I do for my families, um, my students' families? I think during COVID, um, they really got to know me and I really got to know them. I always tried to do a really good job of, you know, making sure I had open communication with them. But in, during quarantine, they welcomed me into their home via Zoom. I welcomed them into my home. We got to know each other on a different level. When parents would tell me, I can't connect because I have, I work third shift. I completely understand. My dad works third shift. You know, my parents are struggling with technology while they're trying to help my niece. So I completely understand where you're coming from. And that really brought us together. So I wanted, once this opportunity came, I kept going back and forth. Is this for me? Can I be a leader? Can I represent um, the Hispanic population that we have in this building? And after several conversations of it, um, I said, why not? It was also a happy moment because they were like, oh, we thought you left. We, we, you know, our child doesn't have you. We were looking for you in the panda room. But then when they're like, so what are you doing now? And I would tell them I'm assistant principal. They're like, oh my God. Like it was like a proud moment for them as if I was their child.